Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Catscale. This is Devil's Path 7.5% IPA uh, brewed with exclusively Michigan hops. Uh, this is a brewery, by the way, in Livingston Manor, upstate New York in the Catskills. And in interestingly, they're using Michigan hops. Um, I'd assume they'd use uh, Amer uh, New York hops, but Michigan is producing some hops. So, so again, yeah, that's hazy. Uh, beer comes in a light gold color, uh, full, full on haze on there, medium plus a full. A fluffy white off white head. Let's get the aroma. Not jumping out of the glass too much, but I'm getting little bits of uh, tangelo, lemony, citrus. Um, yeah, uh, a, a slightly a, like like concentrated orange character. A little bit like. Um, what is that? A, 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 a tang kind of aroma. <laughs> Shout out to the 90s. Yeah, some tropical dancing in there as well. There's a, a little bit of like pineapple mango quality. Cheers. Mm, it's quite nice. So in general, smooth on the palate. Uh, nice creamy mouthfeel. Very New England. Follows with the nose, not super explosive. This one really shows just like um, chewy, light malt character, a great mouthfeel, very much what you want in a New England style IPA. I'm also maybe getting a hint of um, salinity, this kind of like light water treatment thing. Yeah, quite nice. Um, I, I honestly wish it was a little bit more expressive, uh, just like up on the, on the fruit character up front. Not candidated, but this is still a great example of New England style IPA. It, it doesn't really, to me, uh, show of any flaws. It has a beautiful uh, silky texture to it. it, it it's very drinkable. Um, there's a little bit of floral character here. Mm. As I drink it more, as you dissect the beer, I touch more. I'm getting just a little bit of that mango smoothie uh, with, with some of that citrus popping around in there. As you wait more, there's a little bit of that citrus pith um, quality. Yeah, you know what? It's quite nice. Uh, you know, for me, this is what I'm leaning towards on New England style IPAs these days. It has, again, lacking in flaws, a uh, beautiful mouthfeel, and then you sort of drink it and look for the hops and let it sort of meld on your palate, uh, let the flavors sort of meld onto your palate. And as you wait more, there's a little bit more expression, you know, resonating of passion fruit mango, uh, but there, everything is still there. So it's like well-constructed and yeah, really nice stuff. I very much like this one. This one is not one of your impression four ounce uh, flight New England style IPAs where there might be some flaw or something's on off with it, but it's super explosive and you enjoy it for just the four ounces and you don't want more. This is a straight New England style IPA, 16 ounce can enjoy it. And uh, I appreciate the style for doing that. Uh, this one for me, 93, 93, Devil's Path, uh, Catskill. Until next time guys, cheers, later.